Ladies and gentlemen, if any of you wanted to know how much profit Telstra made last year, all you really need to do is look on the internet and find their annual report. However, try finding information about how much Gina Reinhardt made from Hancock Prospecting. You will find that that information, hmm, not so readily available. Why is that? Well, one explanation is that Hancock Prospecting is a private firm. Why is this interesting? In Australia, 95% of all companies are actually private companies. In fact, this is actually a worldwide phenomenon. For example, in the UK, 99.6% of all incorporated entities are private entities. Despite their significant impact on both employment and GDP, not much is actually known about financial reporting of private companies. <clears throat> which leads me to the main aim of my study, which is to better understand why some private inf firms disclose more information than others. Disclosure in this context is looking at information other than the numbers in the financial report. This has not really been done in the private firm environment because of lack of data. In particular, I am interested in the cost and benefit of enhanced disclosures for these private firms. How am I going to do this? I will be doing a two-stage regression. In the first stage, I'll be looking at factors associated with enhanced disclosure. From my slide, um, I'll be look my arguments will revolve around ownership. Theory suggests that firms that have more owners are likely to disclose more information. Debt. Firms that have more bank loads is argue are argued to have less incentive to disclose information. And competition. Competition is particularly important because these private firms say that they do not want to disclose information as it will give valuable information to their competitors. In the second stage, I will be looking at whether private firms derive any benefit from enhanced disclosures. So what would be my contribution? Currently, 68 jurisdictions around the world have introduced new regulation for private company financial reporting. Australia, however, have not gone down this route, although the regulator is interested in making new changes. So I am hoping that the findings from my research will be able to give an academic dimension to this debate. Thank you.